All right, I thought I might do this uh, live so that we could all take a look and see what's going on with this uh, stainless steel on stainless steel rechargeable cell that I made. And I'm in my kitchen uh, at my sink here, and I'm going to do a little experiment where I'm going to rinse off these plates and scrub them with this scrubber to see what is happening on the stainless steel here. And uh, just to show you uh, uh, what I'm looking at here is this was the first thing that I experimented with to try to make a homemade rechargeable cell. And it used uh, old uh, cheap solder that was 80% lead, 10% uh, tin with an alum and distilled water electrolyte. And you can see how the um, lead sulfate formed up on the positive plate and that what they call sponge lead formed up on the negative plate. And uh, this um, made a rechargeable battery. And it, it did it in such a way that the elements didn't um, dissolve and go away like we're finding out on these uh, galvanic batteries we played with. But anyway, you can see the brown here that is on the positive knife. This is that stainless steel. And the way I did this, and here's the gray, which is like that. And the way I did it was I used red lead, which is a lead oxide, and uh, they call it litharge. And it's um, mixed up, you know, it comes in a powder, and I mix it up with some alum and distilled water into a paste. And then I took the paste and I smeared it on the knives. There's the paste. I smeared it on the knives and then rolled it up in this uh, blue shop towel. And uh, what I want to see here is, I'm pretty sure this is going to come out just fine, but how much pitting is going to take place on that is my question. So let's let's go here. Let me set the camera down. I'm going to try to wash off both these knives and we'll take a look at them here. Hang on a second. This is going to look weird, but you can probably hear the water running. Okay, here's the, here's the negative knife, and you can see what I mean about it comes back to where it was. This is the other side that shows some of the corrosion deposits, but it's not really corrosion. It just comes back normal, and this is what made me think maybe I could use both plates. So let's see what happens on this, though. This is the positive plate, and remember both of these were coated with the... Um, uh, lead oxide. Let's see what happens here. I'm giving this a pretty good scrubbing to get all that stuff off. Let's just see what happens. Okay, it's not bad. Take a look at it here. There it is. And yes, there is some slight pitting to it. But it's not bad. It's not nearly as bad as I thought we would have here. And like I say, this is the positive plate, which was the oxided uh, PBSO4 lead oxide forming on it. And uh, one of the commenters <laughs> asked, well, how do you know which is going to be the positive, which is going to be the negative? Well, they, they both start out the same. And when you, when you put a multimeter on this, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no voltage or anything showing until you form it up with voltage. So, like I say, that's, that's the, uh, the way this looks. This is the other side. And you see, you'll see some of the, the brown discoloration on it. And this is what I was hoping for, was the reactions really taking place with the red lead and the alum. The alum has the uh, sulfate in it. It's ammonium aluminum sulfate. And then uh, the red lead uh, is what's forming up on these plates. And it, it, it appears to leave them alone. There's not much, uh, not much attack on those stainless steel 
knives. Now I imagine if I use a higher nickel content stainless, this would be even better. But on the negative, I could say it comes out just like the way it was when it was uh, first put in there. And the positive, it just isn't that bad, folks. And uh, like I say, I, I would imagine this would run for a long, long time based on what I'm seeing here. So anyway, that's my little experiment here in the kitchen. And uh, one of the guys asked about uh, how does the wife feel about this. She doesn't like it. <laughs> I have to do this when she's not here. You know, this is her kitchen. But uh, do the best you can if you guys are trying to replicate this stuff. And be sure and clean up after yourself when you're done. Thanks for watching.